In this corner, 77-year-old Bernie the Cerebral Sanders couldn't resist jabbing the speed bag he passed by the other day. Oh! <laughs> but I'm coming back. He took on the bag, but the bag clobbered him. Or as one armchair analyst put it, speed bag TKO's Bernie Sanders seconds after fight began, quickest technical knockout in boxing history. Note to candidates, if you're clueless about hitting a bag, don't do it unless you want to become a punching bag. What a doofus. LOL, if he keeps that up, maybe he'll knock some sense into his self. Someone else took a swing at socialism, tweeting, when capitalism claps back. Even the president's son, Don Jr., weighed in. This wouldn't exactly strike fear in the minds of our adversaries. But Bernie supporters thought it was cute. Float like a butterfly, sting like a Bernie. We've seen the candidate shadow box before, reacting to his doctor saying what great health the senator's in. Do I get involved in senior boxing? In addition to shadow boxing, we've seen Donald Trump perform a fake takedown. Look at this! At a WWE event billed as the Battle of the Billionaires. Hey, but at least Bernie's punching a bag and not threatening to punch his opponent. No, I wish you were in high school. I could take him behind the gym. He said, I'd like to take him behind the gym. Oh, I dream of that. But our favorite political boxing moment was when retiring Senator Orrin Hatch tried to spar with a piece of bacon. That's pretty good. <laughs> a slice of bacon is great. But don't get any ideas from this guy. Don't even think of pummeling meat, Bernie even if it would tenderize it. Genie Mo, CNN. New York.